Welcome back to Observer. Let's explore the rest of this serial killer's apartment. Looks like they've got skin drying on the wall. Little, like, heater thing to help it dry, I guess. I have no idea if this game has combat of any sort. I don't think it does, but... I don't know. I wonder if the, they're gonna come back while I'm here. What are in these? I probably don't want to know. Probably check out that computer last. What the fuck? Is it alive, or is it just moving because of the bubbles? Like, what in the hell is that? Are they growing... something? The. Human heart. Slight arrhythmia detected. Mild ulceration detected. Notice all the parts we've examined so far have had some sort of a problem, although they don't sound severe. I was thinking maybe it's only like terminal patients that they take and kill or something, but I mean like Slight arrhythmia? <laughs> That's not a terminal patient. That's not that big of a deal. Nor is mild ulceration. What is that? Is it like a, I can't really tell, locked drawer? Yeah, it's locked. Oh, they have a lot of mail. Okay, uh, that thing. The thing we talked about, is it ready? And don't give me any of this when it's done or they don't grow on trees crap. It's not your life on the line. My acquaintances spoke very highly of you, but I have to say that so far I'm not impressed. Let me kindly remind you that you're only getting paid if there's anyone still around to pay you. Hmm. It sounds like they have a problem and they're at risk of dying. You only get paid if there's anyone still around to pay you. It's not your life on the line, so maybe they're trying to cure themselves of something. But why would they need to dry human skin and all that other stuff? Hmm. Regarding thank you. Doctor, you have no idea how grateful I am, truly. If it wasn't for you, my boy wouldn't be walking today. I don't know if he would, he would be alive. So just so you know, you're making a difference. You have my eternal gratitude. Sincerely, Martha. I told you to never write me once we've concluded our business, and don't use your public account, for God's sake. I'm glad you're satisfied with my product. Now delete this message and never contact me again. There are others who depend on my services, so show some goddamn consideration. Uh, yes, of course, I'm so sorry. I just got a little carried away. So it sounds like this the person who lives here maybe does like tries to help people maybe perhaps people who have issues with their like bad augments and stuff like that or even maybe just people that are too poor to afford healthcare I guess I don't know how that works in this world but like everything else I'm sure it doesn't work it's not the bladder it's the liver sorry my bad rich 
What do you mean you're sorry? This isn't a car dealership. You can't just change your mind. Jesus. I'll get your fucking liver, but you're paying for both. I'll get back to you with a date. Dude, don't sweat it. I know how this works. It's all good. <laughs> what the fuck? Where's my skin? We had a deal. Where the hell is my skin? I can't go around looking like this. I told you, I'll have the funds transferred by the end of the month, but I need the graft now. My career depends on it. Please, I'm begging you. I mean, okay, I don't actually know how skin grafting works, but I'm pretty sure after you've dried human skin, you can't graft it, right? I mean, at that point, you have leather, don't you? Pretty much. So I can't imagine the drying skin is for skin grafts. Um. Oh, this... Oh, regarding BBC. That's ask somebody asking for a big black cock. Quite literally. <laughs> I'd like to be black, obviously. About 12 inches sounds great, right? Don't know about the girth, though. Some say that's also important. What do you think? It's not a salad bar. You don't get to pick and choose. What I grow is what you get. And yes, girth does matter. Fair enough, dude. Chill. Just make sure it works. Hmm. So maybe that's what the vats are for, growing body parts. So maybe they didn't kill anybody. Maybe these are all just grown? I don't know. Maybe it's not quite as bad as I thought. Complications. Tamara, I know you've been waiting for a long time, but you'll have to wait just a little bit longer. I've had some complications during transport, and the product got damaged. I'm arranging for a replacement, but it will take some time. Please be patient. Sorry for the inconvenience. What do you mean complications? I don't understand. You said you'd have the heart by now. What am I supposed to do? Please, don't do this to me. Okay, this makes it sound like, you know, the, the complications during transport. The product got damaged. I don't know, that makes me think that it's not all grown here. Some of it is perhaps harvested. Regarding product, got your email from our mutual friend. I heard good things about you, so here's the deal. I need a heart, ASAP. I know your going price is 15k. I'll pay you 150. Yes, you read that right. Just get the heart now. I don't know what you have to do, and I don't want to know. I just need the heart. A little girl's life depends on it. Hope to hear from you soon. I think we can do business. I need the patient's medical files, then I'll make the arrangements. Our mutual acquaintance vouched for you, so I know payment is not going to be an issue. You know the account number. That is extremely good news. I've had the file sent to you via an encrypted transfer. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Just don't make me wait too long. Search Cory Pressure Sores Treatment. <coughs> Excuse me. Pressure sores, medical overview, bed sores, caring, how to avoid pressure sores. Okay. No data. <laughs> Everyone has this game. I guess it just comes with these computers. I feel like I'm going to be confronted on the way out, you know? Oh right, I already went in here. So I still have the investigation for this. Is that going to go away when I leave? It didn't, so did I miss something? Okay, I found a couple things. So yeah, these are just biomasses. Kind of what they look like. Traces of human DNA detected, multiple genetic defects detected. So judging by the fact that all the organs I found mention small problems, I guess the cloning procedure 
with the organs was not perfect. Perhaps they could only rarely be used when a good one came out, or maybe they were never perfect. And all these skins, just a mild inflammation detected. Not sure how that's very meaningful when they're all cut out and put on a, you know, <laughs> put out on a drying rack like this. And I also found this. It seems to connect to here, to the safe. Illegal modification detected. Ah, that's the thing I couldn't actually open, so this probably is to hack it. I think I pressed it. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Guess I don't have to hack it. Alright, what do we have? What? Looks like a picture of a procedure. I see like stapled skin or something, but I don't really know what I'm looking at too much. Just a big blob. Case log updated. I see an eyeball there. Are they like scooping organs out of the biomass? That is so disgusting. I can't tell what I'm looking at. Could be from the biomass. I hope it's from the biomass. So if that solved the case. Find the organ dealer's basement unit. The guy in 205 is clearly involved in some shady dealings. Found a code 7441. It's likely he owns a basement compartment. But which one? Oh, there's basement compartments. Okay, so that's probably in some other place in the building, right? Where exactly did that code come from? Was it on one of these? Because, like, I didn't see any codes. Where did that code come from? It came from this one, right? I mean, like, when I looked at it, that's when the case updated. Oh, it's on the back. Okay. Locked door there. Oh, things are starting to get messy and smeary. I think I should use my medicine. Strain level decreased. Oh yeah, so that gets rid of the artifacts when you move your view, so that's one of the indications that you're starting to become desynchronized. Let's take a look around. Bunch of laundry units. Whoa. Why the hell did that just turn on? Okay. Six nine zero. This thing is really just like jury rigged up. You can see it's just got some batteries on the left side of it. <laughs> just like spun around with some wires and stuff. There's a picture of a cat and that's a picture of a panda, I think. Unlicensed security software detected. Hmm. Um, is that noted anywhere? I don't think my case updated. Okay, so I need to note that myself then. That's a password for something. Was it 690? Yeah. I'll remember that. Maybe. I can't climb it. A class is a lie. Yeah, life in this world is highly uh, class-based. 
Got the people that live in class C, you can move up to class B, and I assume there's like a class A. Class C is really the dumps. So basement unit would obviously be somewhere in the basement. They already did that scare. Did they just reuse the bird scare? Does that happen every time I come into here? Huh. <laughs> That's just hilarious. Oh, this one said 6902. Huh. Oh, it's probably to this. Yeah, because this is the icon that was on the tablet. Hmm? Maybe we should try to hack it. I guess I need one more. One more. Or not. Well, there's a six and a nine on one level, and then the zero is kind of like down below, so maybe it's just the six and the nine. Oh, wait, I see a three there, too. 3690, so I guess I should try some combinations of those. There we go, 90. Just tried every combination of those four numbers. What the hell am I entering into? The atmosphere of this place is wrong. Oh, and now it's locked behind me? What the hell? Is this actually happening? Or is this some fever dream? this reminds me of, this setup, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but it reminds me of, um, I don't remember what it was called, that game that showed up on, I think, like, the PS4 or something, and then it was taken down, but, and there was, like, no other way to get it, so only people that had already downloaded it to their PS4s were able to play it. It was, like, a teaser for a horror game from, I think, Konami or something? I forgot the name of it. Was it called PT or something? I'm not sure. But this reminds me of that. Because you go through doors and you go around and around and it loop. And I remember as you walk down here, on the left there'd be like a phone and a table and stuff. Which is kind of similar. Except there's no phone. There used to be a bathroom around here though. I don't see it. I wonder if it's just an easter egg for that. Kind of like a little reference. <laughs> this has got to be a joke. Just... Don't go? No, I'm, I'm good. There's no way you're supposed to take this seriously. This is just hilarious. Yeah, I think that was just a little joke. <laughs> I 
All right, so continue to explore and especially looking for the basement unit. What in the f what? What in the fuck happened here? Might be kind of hard to see, but this toilet has been exploded. It's covered in blood, and there's a bunch of cans shoved in the bottom of it. Jesus Christ. Should I look for the basement unit right now? Let's do that. So I guess just keep going down, huh? I remember I went down here before. Yeah, I remember the rows and all that. I didn't... I don't remember seeing anything locked. Or at least, you know, anything locked with a keypad. Oh. Oh. So, I need to get to the basement from, like, the other side, huh? Hmm. Because this just takes me back to, like, the main hallway, right? If I remember right. Yeah, okay. So I need to find another way to the basement. Um, there is another stairwell over here. So let's go to that stairwell. Oh. Right, uh, so we need to go to the tattoo parlor as part of the main quest, but let's do everything else first. Yeah, try this one? Is this the other one? It's gotta be. How was that? Wait. Wait, what? This is the same one? Did I just get completely turned around, or...? This leads to the main hallway. No, what? Huh? I'm so confused. No, this is the other hallway, right? I mean, the other stairwell. I was at this one before. So... If I go through here, this looks exactly the same as it did before. There... What is that noise? There's the flower. That's still there. Back to the ground floor. Hello, camera. And now we're in this stairwell. And if I go down the stairwell, Oh. I'm hearing some really strange stuff. I wonder if that's normal for people like us, observers with tons of augments. So if neither of those stairwells leads to the place, then... How do I get there? Hmm. Let me explore around. Dan Lazarski. KPD. Is anyone in there? Uh, no! There's no one here! Uh... Did I not hear a pretty little girl just now? <laughs> you okay? Your parents not home? No, just me. What's your name? Paulina. And you're Dan. That's right. How old are you, Paulina? Thirty-four. <laughs> Nine, you silly! So you're all alone in there? Yes. Well, not really. I'm playing with Pieta. Your little sister? No. She's my friend, silly. From school? <laughs> no! She's a special friend. Only I can see her. Ah, uh, that kind of friend. I had an invisible friend, too, when I was your age. Caught him Tom. <laughs> Pieta thinks you're full of shit. Are you upset? Will you be alright? 
I'm I'm scared. The lights went out. It's just a power outage. Um, I, the building's not feeling well. No, something is happening. I, I feel weird. Paulina. Stop it! I can't. It won't let me out. What's going on in there? One o seven four. One o seven four. What the hell was that? Yeah, so um, I'm just been exploring the second or no, the first floor. I gotta remember that the ground floor is not the first floor because I'm I'm used to the first floor being the ground floor, but in some places it's ground floor and then first floor and then second floor. So this is the first floor, aka the one above ground. Um, and I just I saw a couple little things like a couple weird little jump scares and stuff, but nothing significant. But I thought I'd bring you back for this conversation, because obviously that is significant. Case log updated. Is that a new case? It is. Yeah, so I'm still trying to find the basement unit. Still don't know where the hell that is. Investigate the other apartment. Something strange about the girl in 113. 1074. Might be a code to another apartment, but which one? My forensic vision might come in handy. Should I follow the lines, perhaps? Well, I mean, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> it's just down the hall. Kyren lets you do more. It lets you have an odd number of hands. Who would want five hands? Like, really? Do it in pairs, come on. One, oh, seven, four. Let's give it a shot. little teddy bear thingy. Oh, I can move it. Hmm. Oh. such a strange feeling about this place, given what we just heard from that little girl. Oh, what's that do? Oh, that's the volume slider. The other one's the pitch of it, I guess? I guess I'll keep it on just to have some light. A million tapes. This one's got some drawings on the back.
guess I'll leave it on. Uh. Ah. Who is that and what are they doing? That's a lot of wires. Oh, they want me to do a neural interrogation now? Found a woman hooked up to some strange device. She's barely alive, but her neural implant's still untouched. Maybe I should dive in. Let's take a look around first. That should provide some answers. Um, let's do that last. Though, there's still another door to check. Synchrosine collected. And that one's locked. Okay. Check out the computer. I think I'm, I'm going to try turning this off. It's probably still going to turn back on, though, right? No. Okay, good. It's all for good. Take a look at mail first. Forward, to whom it may concern. This is to certify that Paulina Medea has been diagnosed to have childhood disintegrative disorder, also known as Heller syndrome. It's a type of late onset autism. In Paulina's case, it is quite severe and, as to my knowledge, no early behavioral interventions were undertaken. She has lost almost all speech and social skills. It is highly doubtful she will ever recover, even if she was to undergo any of the more invasive forms of treatment currently available. Which brings me to the second point of this opinion. I do not believe Paulina Medea would survive a cognitive enhancing augmentation procedure, as the blood tests are conclusive, her organism would almost certainly reject extensive implementation or implantation. In conclusion, I believe Paulina Medea will never become self-sufficient and will require constant care for the rest of her natural life. I do not see any prospects for her condition to improve. Dr. Alexander Sadowski. So, is this Paulina in the chair? They did say, like, they sounded like a little girl, but then they said they were like 30-something, right? And then spoke with a deeper voice, but then kind of went back to being a little girl, so... Something's going on, maybe... I don't know. It's all set, just drop by whenever you're ready for another session. Buy a set of diapers on the way here. And some IV cartridges, the recreational ones. You can get those without a prescription. I got the rest here. Good, tomorrow then. Later in the evening, I'll have everything. P. Probably Paulina? White box. How about it, buddy? Think you can deliver? Last time we talked, you sold me on a lot of dreams, but I've been sold shit before. I got you the money, the tech, and the asset. Now it's time for you to keep your end up. So, for the last time, is this thing gonna work? If you ain't sure, just say so. We'll come to some arrangement. I respect a man who can pull an honest hustle, so no hard feelings. Now think hard before you hit that reply button and give it to me straight. Will it work? O. Oh. Yeah. A. Well, that's fucking reassuring. I'll try that again, but use more words. Yes, it will work. I've already tried it in a virtual test environment. For your needs, it's perfectly functional. Regarding the asset, there's no risk involved. I'll monitor the software from here, and if there's even the slightest spike in activity, I'll put it on standby. Which brings me to one final aspect of our collaboration. You mentioned the asset is in 113. I'm assuming you've put the machine in one of the adjoining apartments. I need the access code. In case of an emergency. This is a non-negotiable term of your arrangement. If you find that unacceptable, then the deal is off. I take the tech, you get your money back. And then the last one is, you're dead, bitch. 
Lying fucking cunt, I know you're there using my fucking equipment. Should have known better than to give you my fucking password. You really think you can get away with this? As soon as I get out, I'm coming for you. No one's gonna save your wrinkly ass. I'll dance on your fucking grave. Okay, I'm a little bit fuzzy on the details, but from what I can surmise, it looks like we have three people here. We have Paulina, we have... Um... What is their name? Alexander Sadowski, also called A in all these correspondences. A. A. So A must be Alexander Sadowski. And we have O. So... It looks like... So here is... Oh, oh no, is that the same as O? I don't know who... I don't quite get it, but... Here, they're talking about drop by for another session, buy some stuff when you're coming here, and this is P responding. Is that Paulina? But this says that they have no speech and no social skills. Does that mean, like, I don't... It's not very specific about their overall condition. So what I'm wondering is, did they actually write this email? Are they capable of actually writing emails? I don't know, but it sounds like they did. I don't know who else P would be. Perhaps... They made Paulina think that they could, like, help her come by for another session. But it looks like it's just A, or Dr. Alexander, who was just selling their client, because they were the doctor of Paulina. And I guess they were selling their client to O, aka the asset, as they call her. And then Alexander wants the password to the adjoining of apartment or something in case of an emergency and then apparently A did something bad with that and O's pissed. I don't really get all the details, obviously. Maybe it'll become more apparent later. But definitely something horrible is going on with Paulina. She's obviously being used. The Dove Lovers Club. I do love the doves, where bird lovers congregate. Pests to some, pets to others. Auction House. Auction House allows our members to sell and purchase their beloved companions to the highest bidder. 16-year-old one. Very well trained. Had her since she was just a small chick. Sterilized, so breeding is out of the question. Good condition overall, but she's missing some plumage on her head. 12,000 credits. It's a male, very obedient. Can be used as a carrier bird. Well trained, very obedient. She will literally do anything you tell her to. Once as a test, I had her. Moderated message. This message board is dedicated to the online sale and purchasing of doves. Posting further unrelated content will result in a permanent ban. Uh, what was that? Still in training. Huh. I'm glad to say I'm not the only one that likes the doves. Whoa, what is this? Cephalus 7. Unable to establish a connection. So this must be Paulina, right? It's gotta be. Okay, well I think this is a pretty good place to end it, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to dive into the mind of Paulina Medea, and see if we can find out what's going on and hopefully help her. <laughs>